Hello and welcome to Tech Tech 2. I am your host ABM Farhan and today I am going to review the Lenovo Light Boss LP1. So let's get started. The pairing process is fairly straightforward. You just open the case, take one bud out, you put it in your ear, you, you hear a chime, just a regular one, and then it says pairing. And by the time it says pairing, it's on the list of available devices on your Bluetooth settings. Click on that and you will be paired in no time and you will get a confirmation in here saying paired successfully. And from the next time, we use it, open it up, take one bud out, put it in your ear, and by the time you take out the other bud and put it in your ear, it's already paired, you will get a confirmation, and you can start jamming. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk about is its build quality. Now, I have seen that many earbuds at this price point tend to cheap out on the build quality using cheap glossy plastics or materials that doesn't wear quite nice over the time period of your usage. And so this is, I would say, a pretty great little piece of hardware. So this is made up of a white colored glossy plastic. I mean, it is cheap out, but it doesn't feel that cheap and also it doesn't feel that great either because I would rather have a matte textured case any day over a glossy one and I have also noticed that over my period of usage there is a bit of smudges on the back of the case because I tend to put it like this so that might vary on your usage and if you just use a case it will be just fine okay the earbuds oh before we talk about the earbuds this hinge this is one feature that you won't find in any other budget TWS period I mean just listen to the snap I can do that all day okay the earbuds also made of white plastic feels great fits great and doesn't fall off while shaking your ha head so that's all I had to say about them Oof, that satisfying click. That, this sound great. I mean, for 1200 taka, they sound pretty good. I mean, they have a 10 millimeter dynamic driver. At the base is punchy, tight, and you feel it in your ears. The highs are excellent with great detail. The only place where it falls short is in the mids. But then you have to see that this is a pair of 1200 taka earphones, so. You gotta temper your expectations a bit, but for the price, great sound. How did Lenovo reach to this price point? Of course, there has to be some compromises, right? And you are correct. So let me remind you again: the earphones themselves have only three hours of endurance, so they did cut a bit on the battery life. And then something that might put you off, well, if you're thinking of buying this, is water and dust resistance. It just doesn't have any. I mean, if you are buying this primarily for gym use, sports use, then this isn't for you, unfortunately. I mean, even on the warranty, they say that if it dies out of water damage, the warranty is voided and they won't repair it for you. So that's a bummer, I would say. Other than that, I don't think there isn't, there is much compromises here. And so this is a great little thing. And if you are, on the market for a great budget TWS other than of course with high budgets then you should go for this one